and hopefully we'll get these answers in quickly. About a quarter of you uh, said, not sure, I need to learn more, and 18% uh, of you have said, absolutely. So that's uh, about 45% that are at least open to researching further or may already be in the position. And uh, you still have an opportunity to, it looks like pretty much all 50 states, uh, and it, for, and we've gotten uh, questions from everyone in every state, it looks like, in terms of where the benefits are highest. New Mexico, the last one. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, close this one down. And uh, Fred, maybe you could uh, make sure we get up to the, your contact information up on your, on your site, too, because I know that a lot of people are going to have uh, prior commitments and we'll probably need to log off soon, but I'd, um, if, if you could please just tell us a bit more about your, your company and how, how you work with the CPA community, I think that would be a great way to, uh, to uh, wind down a little bit. Okay, our, our corporate office is in California, but we do have offices in uh, various locations that uh, <coughs> are shown here on the screen. Uh, we do most of our captives onshore. We do a little bit in Bermuda, a little bit in the Caribbean. Uh, we're happy, if you have a client you think that's interested in a captive, we're happy to take a look at them. Uh, we have certain information that we like to see. We can send you that questionnaire, and we can try to pre-qualify them before they have to go to the expense of a feasibility study. This is what we do usually with uh, property and casualty brokers. Uh, our, our team's about uh, 30 people. We have uh, several people with substantial underwriting background people that have worked in the large uh, brokerage outfits uh, in their captive departments working on the Fortune 1500. Our practice is primarily the small and medium-sized companies. We also do a lot of service contract work also for service contract captives. We do a lot with workers' comp, a lot of uh, nursing home type uh, arrangements, and, but pretty much all different, uh, all industries that we've, uh, we operate in. Well, what I'd like to do, we're, we're about a minute past the hour, and there are, there are a couple of questions that I, that I noticed that came through, too, and you may have already answered them while I was multitasking. I've had to handle a bunch of administrative things, but I, I want to wrap up with just some closing comments here, and, and hopefully you can help get to a couple other questions and any others that happen to come through. We've had a number of questions, by the way, about the PowerPoints. Those have been provided to you, and so you can always go back and download those um, by logging into your account or looking at any of the prior emails, and we're sending an email after the webinar, too, so plenty of opportunities to get access to that information. Um, I just want to, uh, first of all, thank you, Fred, for, for putting on this hour-and-a-half-long presentation. I've been looking forward to this class for a long time, and uh, it was extremely uh, uh, informative and, and engaging, and I uh, really liked the way you were able to, to pause and, and answer so many questions as, as they popped up. I think that was... Uh, very, very uh, helpful to uh, to a lot of people, and so I appreciate uh, uh, appreciate um, you putting this on. And I just want to thank everybody again for taking time out of their day, especially given the November fifteenth tax deadline. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your questions. And because this is the first time that we've offered this particular class, I want to put some additional emphasis on the evaluation form and just re really ask that you please fill that out. And it's not just the numbers that we're looking for, because you have the chance to respond to 10 questions, uh, one through five, but it's also the comments and uh, testimonials and, and candid feedback that we're looking for. They're not required, so I don't want to, uh, anyone to feel that they are. We, we ask because we want to continuously improve our courses and